it's been a while since i have uploaded the last video sorry for that my schedule was kind of messed up but as we are here now let's unbox the most popular b450 motherboard from asrock the asrock b450m steel legion motherboard it is one of the most popular and recommended motherboard by pc builders and many youtubers under the steel legion name there are two motherboard the b450 steel legion a uh, full atx mobile and the b450m steel legion the micro atx which we are going to unbox it now and we will be unboxing it in 2020 as i got this for under 8000 rupees during the amazon sale and plus many builders have a doubt for the support of 3000 series ryzen processor and the new 5000 series processor so now let's start with the unboxing of the motherboard and this is how the motherboard came back in inside you can't see any extra foam just the cardboard box only and inside is the actual package of the product let me take it out and this is how the packaging looks like the invoice or the bill here and is mentioned as 8700 rupees but i have actually paid 7950 after applying the card discount now coming to the box of the product you can see the asrock b450m steel legend branding on the top and the 2000 and 3000 series support badging on the side the price mentioned is of rupees 12000 rupees that's the actual price when it was launched Coming to the back side of the box, you can see some specs mentioned like the full control of the ARGB on the heatsink and additionally via the provided ARGB and RGB headers. We have the dual M2 SSD slot. The capacitors are of Nichicon 12K black caps. The premium 60 amps power choke to provide stable power and efficiency. The steel reinforced PCIe slot. On opening the bag, first we have the memory installation guide. Next, we have the software setup guide which is thick as a book. And further, we have the driver CD with the ASRock sticker and have another installation guide included. And here is the IO shield plate in this beautiful digital camo style. Further inside we have a screw for the M2 storage, a SATA cable and another screw for the M2 slot. I hope nothing went wrong during shipping. Everything seems to be fine as of now. The ports are looking fine. And here is the extra large heatsink for the VRM and another smaller heatsink on the top and one on the chipset at the bottom left here. This motherboard have a 4 RAM slot which runs at 12 channel. Let's have a quick overview of the headers and ports in this motherboard. On the top we have the CPU power connector, CPU or water pump fan connector, CPU fan connector, 4 RAM slot, AMD fan LED header, ATX power connector which is of 24 pin, USB 3.1 gen header, 4 SATA ports, System panel header, power LED and speaker header, chassis or water pump fan connector, dual chassis or water pump fan connector, USB 2.0 header for the front, RGB LED header and ARGB LED header. 
and on the back we have two usb port that is of usb 2.0 lan rj45 port audio ports optical spdif out port usb 3.1 port uh, usb type c port and a set of usb 3.1 port hdmi port uh, display port and a ps2 port so is it still worth in 2020 or the upcoming years i would say yes because with its vrm it's hitting the color design and the feature sets it provides the it's still worth the price along with the included rgb lighting which is a must for most of the pc users these days and also the official bios update has been released by asrock for the support of ryzen 5000 series cpus and now have a look of the motherboard in its full setup form So that's all in this video guys more video will be up regarding the build shown in the video and if you have any query regarding this motherboard do comment down below and if you have liked the video show some love by subscribing to the channel and share the video thank you stay home stay safe